Hello, my name is Rolly, <laughs> Z01BQD. Welcome. Now, those who have been following along my channel will know that I'm in a new series where I'm going around visiting ham radio operators in and around New Zealand. In this episode, I visit one of my friends who lives quite close to me, and he's uh, got a new project underway. I'm very interested in this new project myself, and I'm sure you will be as well. So, come on, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, let's go and see what he's up to, shall we? Oh wow, there's an amateur radio operator down there, that looks like a, uh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, that looks like a step I are. Oh, we'll call in and have a look at this guy. Wonder who it is. Good, Jeff. Where are we? <laughs> so what have you got here? I see you've got a little box over there. A shared apex loop. A shared apex loop controller. All right, tell me, what are you trying to do? Um, after chasing around for many years, I've come to the conclusion I've got too much noise on receive, on 160, 80, 40. Yeah, you're a little bit like me, eh? a little bit of a built up sort of environment and you've got TV noise. Yeah. Yeah. Plasma TVs and that sort of stuff. Yeah, Nick moans when he's got it 800 metres away. Yeah, yeah. How's it sort of 80 measures? Nick, our mate, uh, Z01 Italy United, you've seen a video on that uh, previous. Yeah. So, the idea so tell me about this. What, what are you doing here then? Well, the idea behind this uh, um, is to have four separate loops, um, like delta loops, yeah. with pick offs in the cardinal directions and be able to switch between the loops to find the lowest noise. Being a loop it's inherently low noise and this allows you to effectively tune out noise. Okay so I see on this controller you can go in different directions. Yeah. So you choose either whichever loop you want I guess that's in a unidirectional way, and then it looks like you've got a bi-directional way you can go around the loop in bi-direction. What, what's this flip uh, business? Uh, um? It will allow you to flip uh, from opposite loops. Oh, I see. And it will jump backwards and forwards between them, so you can find whether it is a null on your noise or a peak or... Yeah, because primarily this is this is not really a receive antenna, so it's, a, it, it's a, trying to get rid of noise, is that it's right? It's a low level receive, right? but if you can reduce the noise, or reduce the signal to noise problem, you get more signal in the end. It doesn't matter if it's S9 or S1, right, right, right. as long as it's the noise is a lot lower. Than the signal. Yeah, 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 that, and that's the secret, isn't it? Eh? It's that signal to noise, not necessarily how much signal you've got. And we've, yeah, I've discussed that with uh, with one of my mates up in the UK, a uh, guy by the name of Callum. Uh, he, yep. has, he has the DX Commander type stuff, and we've had a bit of a discussion on that one before. So this is the controller box end. This is what's in the the shack end here. Yep. And um, I see you got another box here. This it, this is the box that goes at the antenna, is it? Yeah. All four triangular loops get fed into that through the, the base there. Right. And there's combiners and amplifiers and logic for the switching and delay lines for between the two loops that you might be using. I guess these are the loops that you're talking about? Yes. Uh, and uh, so that'll... Uh, That'll, of course, unwind to quite a large delta, yeah? Yeah. This one that I've got is the 
smaller of the three types that are sold. There's a 12 foot high version, a 20 foot high and a 30 foot high. Right, right, okay. Notice I use feet, not meters. Yeah. So you've got four of these. Yeah. They, uh, I see you got the book open here, but uh, I don't know if we can pick this up on the video. I might just put an insert on that. Yeah. Okay, so you've got four, four loops in basically four different directions, eh? Yeah. This, they all feed into this box. Yeah. Back on your RF cable, back to your con back to your controller box. Bob's your uncle, yeah. Yeah, and then just feed that from there into the receive antenna input. Right. Of your rig. Yes, this is only a receive antenna, isn't it? Yes, receive only. Uh, you put RF into it, large amounts, and you <laughs> say goodbye to it. Say goodbye to it. Yeah. So but most, most modern yeah. most modern rigs have a receive input. Yes. And it's not tied to the 50 ohms. It's tied to a higher impedance. Right. So it's a lot more flexible with um, the signal levels and matching. Right. You're not tied to transmitting into it. Well, you've got a couple of rigs over there. I can see that you can... Uh, the IC7 7300? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, what's that one? Oh, the Alicraft K3. Yeah. K3, yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, both of those have got um, um, the quite suitable. The 7300 yet. has not got a separate receiver. Oh, antenna. okay, right. Whereas the K3 has. So how do, you, how do you get around that, not having a separate receiver antenna? Uh, be, be very careful. Be very careful, <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd have to switch manually between them. Right. Or arrange some other system. Now, in all of this is in aid of, uh, basically, um, you've gone over the dark side a bit, haven't you? And you're trying to get, <laughs> trying to do some 160 metre stuff, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 160 metres in a small urban section. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of incompatibility there, isn't it? But mind you, you've done pretty well on 80 metres. 80 metres, I've got DXCC. Yeah. Um, I've got 35, I think, confirmed on 160. 35, that's a third of the way there, and that's a lot better than uh, than, than many do out of an urban lot, that's for sure. Yeah, and, uh, just using a um, inverted L at the moment. Right, for transmit. And receive. Oh, and receive, okay. Well, hopefully then this, uh, this setup there will um, help you on the receive side because... Uh, uh, <laughs> we've often said um, in, in some of the other interviews I've done and so on, like any fool can transmit. You just, uh, yeah, if you're not getting there, pour more coal on the fire and uh, perhaps you can get there. But the secret, real secret in DXing, particularly low bound stuff, is about to receive. Yeah, yeah that, that's the thing yeah. that you've got to conquer. Yeah, oh well, looks like we're there. Hey, I'm, I'm going to be interested in uh, seeing how, how this build goes and uh, if you don't mind, I, you know, I'll come out with the camera again sometime and uh, we'll continue and have a look and see how you go with the build on it, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, <coughs> meeting with my friend uh, Jeff, ZA1BIV. Now, this is going to be an interesting project to follow along, isn't it? I'll be keen to see how it goes and I'm sure you will too. So if you're interested in uh, following along this project and indeed following along in my series of visiting ham radio operators around New Zealand, then uh, subscribe by uh, pressing the button below here. Ring the little bell and then uh, you'll be first to know when the next video is uh, being released. So the next video will be part two of uh, our, our guest project and uh, we'll see you then. for now.